Good morning, dear students. This is your teacher Neelam Halawat, and we are doing the chapter, chapter number four, carbon and its compounds. And this is a lecture number six. Dear students, in the previous lecture, we have talked about the two functional groups. One is the haloalkanes, and second is alcohols. And now we know that whenever we are forming the haloalkanes, then we are adding the chlorine atom. or we are adding the adding the bromine atom so either chlorine or bromine is added and in the name we are adding the chloro or the bromo word so like here it is chloropropane bromopropane in case of alcohols the functional group is oh okay the functional group is oh so oh is replacing one hydrogen atom and while when we are naming the alcohol we are replacing the alkanes e with ol okay so this we have already started now today in this lecture we will be talking about two more functional groups third is aldehyde and the fourth is ketone so today in this particular module we'll be talking about two functional groups that is aldehydes so aldehydes they have a functional group cho okay and there will be a name they, the e letter will be replaced by al while in case of ketones the functional group is co which will be present on the center atom theek hai jo ketone ka functional group hai wo center carbon par present hoga but in case of aldehyde it will be present on the first carbon and we will add word one o n e own word will be add, added in the name so let's start with the aldehydes So aldehydes, as I told you, students, they contain a carbonyl group that is COO. Okay, there is this group which is present, and this group will be present on the first carbon. Okay, this group will be present on the first carbon, and there can be any number of carbon atoms. Okay, there can be any number of carbon atoms. So aldehydes, they are organic compounds in which the carbonyl group is attached to the carbon atom at the end of the carbon-carbon chain. okay it is present at the end of the carbon chain or rather i should say it is present at the first carbon atom right in this and when we name the aldehyde the e of the aldehyde will be replaced by the al e will be replaced by al again let's remind it so aldehydes they have one oxygen atom like here so this is the functional group and this functional group is present on the same first carbon atom सो सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ देखिए यहाँ पर डबल बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट है ओ और सी के बीच में राइट एंड दे आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज एल्केनल्स लाइक एज आई टोल्ड यू ए एल वर्ड विल बी रिप्लेस इन द नेम दे ऑलवेज हैव अ वर्ड ए एल राइट दे हैव अ वर्ड ए एल सो देर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एल्केनल्स लेट स्टार्ट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल डी हाइड्स नो अगेन वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल aldehydes from the alkanes so alkanes first alkane is your methane that is ch4 that can be represented at c and like this we will have now in this case what we will do do students we there is only one carbon so we will we will remove these two carb two hydrogens okay everyone we will remove these two hydrogens and instead of this hydrogen these two hydrogens they will be replaced and instead of this hydrogen we will have o o atom okay do hydrogen ko hum replace karenge ek o se like let's start the formation so we will have h c h and there is a double bond let's represent it with a different color so that you can easily understand um let's rub it there is double bond o okay so humne do hydrogen atoms ko replace kiya hai ek oxygen atom aaya hai aur double bond ki formation hai oxygen atom ke sath right okay so now we can represent we can name this compound as ch2o okay this can be written, written as ch2o or simply we can write at CH C 
we can simply write it as CHO HCHO right we can write it as HCHO or we can write it as CH2O now look at this dear students right you've understood the structure H single bond C double bond O H now when we name this compound let's name this compound so instead of E we should write AL so the name of this compound is methanal methanal A this A should be very clear okay we should write it very very carefully methanal A should be A it should not look like as O okay so this is methanal okay this is called methanal so what is the formula of methanal CH2O or HCHO right and we are replacing two hydrogen atoms with one oxygen so this is our first aldehyde that is methanal second so second will be formed from ethane ethane has a formula C2H6 so again there is all single bond right now in this case see we will always add oxygen atom at the first carbon so we what will we do we will replace this ox this hydrogen here also we will replace this hydrogen okay we will replace this hydrogen so these hydrogens they will be replaced by double bond O so let's write it so we have C single bond C now you will have H H H now here we will this will remain same okay now we'll use different color so that you can understand now we will have double bond O okay so instead of H there is O now let's write down this so this is your CH3 CHO the formula is CH3 CHO and what will be the name of this compound E will be replaced with AL so name of this compound is ethanal ethanal what is the name of the compound dear students ethanal let's go to the next one propane propane has a formula C3H8 okay and this is a structure now again as I told you this hydrogen carbon will be replaced we will replace this hydrogen carbon with with oxygen atom so we will remove these two hydrogen and we will put oxygen so let's write it down one two three so we have three carbon okay this is H rest every everything will remain same now this will remain same instead of these H we will have different let's use different color we will have double bond O right so this is again your third aldehyde now let's write down its formula CH3 CH2 CHO okay now let's what is the name let's name this compound so instead of E we should have AL so the compound is propanal okay the compound is propanal right let's come to the fourth one now likewise we have made four compounds okay we have done it till propanal now same you can do with with pro butane and pentane so five carbons you will complete so fourth you will do it with butane okay fourth you will do it with butane and fifth is pentane aap in dono ke saath bhi yehi structures banayenge so you will have five aldehydes okay aap paanch aldehydes ka structure complete karenge right now let's come to the ketones now dear students ketones are the organic compounds that also contain a carbonyl group but this carbonyl group is present in the chain okay in case of aldehyde the carbonyl group is present on the last or the first atom okay but here it will be present in the central atom 
so ketones again as i told you see this is the three carbon so this is present in the center okay so this is a difference aldehydes and ketones both have the same functional group that is carbonyl group but in case of aldehyde it is present in the first carbon or you can say the terminal carbon but in case of ketone it is present on the central carbon so it also has one oxygen atom and they are called alkenons okay they are called as alkenons so we will replace e with on okay e will be replaced with on like we have propane so propane ka e humne on se replace kiya hai so propenone okay now let's come to the as i told you dear students there should be center atom right so suppose suppose kariye suppose hamare paas one hum methane se start kare suppose so there is only one carbon so isme koi center carbon nahi hai right there is no center carbon here so one carbon atom so chain will not start with one carbon atom let's see there are two carbon atoms even then there is no center atom so the ketones they start with three carbon atoms okay n will be three in case of ketones so they start their chain will start with c3 right everyone their chain will start with c3 there will be no c1 there will be no c2 na koi c1 hoga na koi c2 hoga their chain will straight away start with c3 okay so let's talk about the third alkene that is propane propane so pre propane have a formula c3h8 and this is a structural formula of the propane now as i told you see dear students the center carbon okay this is the center carbon right this is a center carbon so we will leave one carbon from here one carbon from here so center carbon pe se aapke dono hydrogen atoms ko hataya jayega this hydrogen atom also and this also okay these two hydrogen atoms they will be removed and we will add one oxygen atom so let's add it so we have c double bond c double bond c rest everything will remain same okay rest everything will remain same now on the central carbon atom you will have c double bond o now the name is propane okay e will be replaced with on e will be replaced with on so propenon propenon okay everyone the name of the compound is propenon right let's come to the fourth that is the second second is your butane that is butane formula is c4h10 and we can represent in like this right again you see yahan par hamare paas char carbon atoms hain so we will leave this carbon is carbon pe attachment nahi ho sakti is carbon pe attachment nahi ho sakti we have to leave one carbon from each side now we have two carbons in the center hamare paas do carbon hai center mein in dono carbon mein se hum kisi ke bhi hydrogen atom ko replace kar sakte hain okay right everyone so we can let's replace the, this one so we will replace this clear let's replace this we will replace this hydrogen atom with the double bond so let's write c single bond c single bond c so we have four carbon atoms rest everything will remain same that is the same hydrogen atoms will be attached here here also here also right here also we will have this and this now on this we will have different color let's use so we will have double bond o okay everyone now let's write down the formula ch3 ch2 co ch3 so likewise you can write for ketone and see the name of the compound was butane so e has to be replaced with on e has to be replaced with on so replace kariye this is your butanon the name of the compound is butanon okay what is the name of the compound butanon now in the previous we we forgot to write the formula just write down this yahan par hum formula likhna bhul gaye to ch3 co ch3 this will be the name of the compound right everyone i hope you understood okay 
लेट्स गो टू दी लास्ट वन दैट इज पेंटेन ठीक है पेंटेन का फॉर्मूला होता है सी फाइव एच ट्वेल्व नाउ वी विल सी देर आर फाइव कार्बन आइटम्स सो वी कैन वी विल लीव दिस कार्बन इस कार्बन पे अटैचमेंट नहीं हो सकती इस कार्बन पे अटैचमेंट नहीं हो सकती सो देर आर थ्री सेंट्रल कार्बन बीच में तीन कार्बन आइटम्स हैं आप किसी का भी हाइड्रोजन आइटम रिप्लेस कर सकते हैं ओके लेट्स रिप्लेस वी विल रिप्लेस दिस हाइड्रोजन आइटम हम ये हाइड्रोजन आइटम को रिप्लेस करेंगे ओके वी विल रिप्लेस दिस हाइड्रोजन आइटम हम इस हाइड्रोजन आइटम को रिप्लेस करेंगे हियर आल्सो वी विल रिप्लेस दिस हाइड्रोजन आइटम ओके एंड दिस हाइड्रोजन आइटम विल बी रिमूव्ड एंड ऑक्सीजन विल बी एडेड ओके एवरीवन सो लेट्स एड इट सो वी हैव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो रेस्ट एवरीथिंग विल रिमेन सेम द हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स विल बी देयर विल हैव हियर ऑल्सो हियर ऑल्सो एच H. Now here also H. Let's use a different color. So you will have double bond O here. Let's write down the formula, everyone. C H three, C H two. This is C H three, C H two, C O, C H three. Right. What will the name? E will be replaced with on. This E, so pentenone. The name of this compound is pentenone. Right, everyone? I hope you understood both the functional groups. So we have discussed aldehydes and ketones. So let's come to homework for today. First of all, you will make notes of this topic. That means you will make two tables. Okay, you will make two tables: one for aldehydes, one for ketones, and then you will read the page numbers sixty-four and sixty-five. Right, everyone? And if there is any doubt, you can send your queries to me on my personal number. So that's all for today. Bye, everyone.